Anthony, even though I said that there might not be a place for you in the league, and even though I want you in the NBA, <clears throat> that I don't think that you probably are going to be back due to the reasons of the NBA and due to things on your own detriment, there may be two guys up in your hometown that want you on the, the uh, on their respected team. You want to know who it is? See, I would, but you got to tune into the video. Kitchen whipping, I'm rapping again. Whip it. Keep on playing, bitch, and I'm stabbing your friend. Woo. I'm in the hood. Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Lewis Basketball Network. It is your boy Lewis, and I am back once again with another banger with yet another video. Even on vacay, no damn days off, man. I just finished coming back from the pool. It was nice. Got some things going on, but I really do wanted to take the time to make this video, man. I am enjoying Vegas out here. It is really nice, man. Definitely a place that you know you should go if you are a tourist and have never been to a place like this before. Even if you haven't been to Vegas in general, it would be nice to go. But on to today's topic. Kyrie Irving and uh, Kevin Durant, KD Trey Five, are capping. They are pretty much doing their Carmelo petition back into the NBA. Uh, there are reports saying that there is rumor speculating that both KD and Kyrie are really pushing for Melo to be back into the NBA and sign with the Brooklyn Nets. Now, if you guys remember, I made a video a few videos ago. I said that, uh, you know, should Carmelo go to the Brooklyn Nets? And I said that those were the, one of the teams that he should be eyeing. I said the Raptors and I had also said the Warriors. But I feel like if there's any team that could give him a fair off send off, it would be them. So to speak, so to speak, I should say. Uh, if Melo was to get his last shot, I say for the Brooklyn Nets, look, Kevin Durant is going to miss pretty much all of the season. They don't really have any forwards, and I know that Melo is not in his prime, but he can still give you 15 points a game. Maybe with some of these other teams in the NBA, maybe he's not a good fit. But I think with the Brooklyn Nets, I, deserve, I think he could get a second chance. Now, I've already said that because of what Carmelo Anthony did, he most likely might not get an opportunity to play in the NBA again, okay? Whether you think it's black ball or whether you think uh, Melo pretty much did it to himself, that he deserves to be out of the league um, and that it, it's a different NBA and Melo has not taken that mental hurdle to accept his role and that understand that he is uh, <clears throat> a role player and not a person who thinks that he's an alpha. Allen Iverson 2.0 mentality, as I've always said. But ladies and gentlemen, I honestly think that Brooklyn really should look to sign him. And the reason I say that is because you put him with a DeAndre Jordan, you put him with a Kevin Durant, you put him with a Kyrie Irving, as long as Melo knows his role, you know what? Look, take the risk. Sign a one-year deal. If it doesn't pan out, guess what? Don't bring Melo back because Kevin Durant hopefully will be healthy by that point. But if I'm the Brooklyn Nets, I'll take a chance on him. I'll take a chance just to see what he um, what he provides. And again, the key thing for Melo is if he's humble enough to accept his role then I don't have a problem with him signing. If Melo's like, yo, I'm trying to show you that I can still average 25 to 20 to 30 a game, don't even bother looking that way. But if I'm the Brooklyn Nets, I take a chance. You know, I take a chance to see what he can do. See what Melo can do. If he shows signs of being a, <clears throat> a cancer in the locker room, as there's been many reports in the past about Melo uh, and being a locker room guy, even though some people have defended him and said that, you know, he's been a great teammate. Like, <clears throat> you know, we will see. But, you know, they definitely should take attention on him, man. Uh, you know, I think that uh, hopefully, for Melo's sake, that he has uh, learned what he is at this point in his career. And I got to ask you this, Melo. Are you about trying to get your points or are you trying to get a championship? Because you're the only one major superstar, all-star superstar, in that 03 draft class <clears throat> that doesn't have a championship ring. Chris Bosh has got multiple. D-Wade has multiple. LeBron has multiple. Bro, it's your turn, man. It's your turn. You know? So accept your role. Again, as my man, the people's champ, always likes to say, know your role, shut your mouths. And Carmelo, man, just humble yourself and do the damn thing, man. And it's like, yo, I want to see you in the league again, you know? But anyway, on top of that, uh, there's also reports saying that Carmelo is doing supposedly supposed to do five-on-five -five scrimmages with the New York Knicks. Uh, but I don't really see anything serious on that because they let him go. Like, why would the Knicks just bring him back like that? And it's like, again, if he, they take him, it has to be a lesser role. He cannot be the guy on the team anymore. He would have to be a mentor to the young players. But And what Carmelo can do, 
you know, for guys like Kavis LeVert as well. It's like, like I said, he could be a mentor, you know, to have a little veteran presence. I mean, with DeAndre Jordan, listen, man, it's like Carmelo's going to be around a good group. So Carmelo doesn't even have to do much. Carmelo just has to fulfill his role, and that's all he's got to do. So if I'm the Brooklyn Nets, you get a little extra punch off the bench. Melo adjusts his game if he's humble enough, as he's taking that mental hurdle, mental hurdle, as Chauncey Billups has said, listen, man, take the chance. With some of these other teams in the NBA, I would not look that way for Carmelo Anthony. But like I said, the Brooklyn Nets would be the team that Melo should sign with. And uh, if KD and Kyrie could possibly get it done, I mean, yo, kudos to them. But, ladies and gentlemen, let me just point this out because I know this is going to happen. I already got a feeling. Remember when I did that Royce White video and he said how LeBron walks out here and he acts like if Carmelo's his banana boat buddy but he can't get him into the league? Well, guess what's going to happen? If Carmelo gets happens to get signed to the Brooklyn Nets, and that is the if, guess what's going to happen? They're going to praise Kyrie and they're going to praise KD on what an unbelievable job they were able to do to get um, Carmelo Anthony to the Brooklyn Nets and LeBron James couldn't even do that. Even though there were reports saying that LeBron had already tried to get Carmelo and it was denied. I don't know if it's true or not. I was just saying what was reported. But my point is, if Carmelo ends up signing with the Brooklyn Nets, if they do get him, people are going to praise KD and Kyrie and they're going to find a way to bash LeBron James and say, look what they were able to do and you weren't able to do it. See, you don't really care about Carmelo Anthony, man. See, he's not really your banana boat, buddy. You just used, you just, he's part of your tool, man. And I said many videos ago that I told you that in some way, shape, or form, LeBron James is playing politics out here. I said that. You know the media's going to find a way regardless. So, yeah. Um, because I told you, LeBron is an outgoing guy. But he is all about fake camaraderie when it comes to his teammates. That is not le hate. That is the LaFax. That is the LaFax, homie. Homies. La cronies. La three six mafias. All the LeBron stands. All the fanboys and fangirls. I'm telling you. LBJ. Great outgoing guy. You can tell he's outgoing. Mr. Mr. LeBron, Taco Tuesday, James. Yes, yes, okay? Because YouTube and all of these social media outlets continue to make a big deal about LeBron's Taco Tuesday. See, they can't go a day without talking about him, and y'all talk about LeBron haters. But anyway, like I was saying, still fake camaraderie out here in the NBA streets when it comes to him. But ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Lewis with another one. Let me know what you guys think in the comment. Comment below. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Make sure to share this content, man. Appreciate y'all. From the West Coast to my East Coast people. Bless up. Live, laugh, love. Thank you for watching the video. Hit him with a club band.